Okay, in this chapter summary, what the heck happened in electrochem? Well, you better know your redox reaction. Be able to balance them and or, or I should say and, be able to use the reduction potential uh, table to write down reactions. You learned about galvanic cells. Those are the, uh, there's two ways to draw them. The longhand way, which is the Danielle cell, drawing the beakers and all that stuff, two half cells. Or the shorthand notation, where you just draw the vertical lines and just write out the chemicals. So know what they are, be able to draw them. These are spontaneous. We learned about batteries, the primary cell, secondary cell, and the flow cell batteries. So know the differences, know the cathodes and anodes of each, uh, that sort of thing, what they're used for. We learned about corrosion. So what corrosion is, that's an oxidation. It returns the metal to its elemental state, uh, uh, really to its uh, original natural state, I should say, uh, as an ore. We learned about cathode protection. Uh, that's protecting the cathode by putting a sacrificial anode there. There's other ways to protect the cathode by painting things. Uh, plating things, making alloys, etc. Uh, here's plating specifically. So we can plate things, for example, galvanized nails are zinc and iron together because the zinc oxidizes first. There's electrolysis. That's the reaction that doesn't want to happen spontaneously. Uh, so you have to put in electricity to make that happen be able to convert between current and mass of a metal. Or if I happen to give you mass of a metal, you've got to go backwards and find current. Well, whatever way, that's that little calculation we did. Uh, remember, current, I, and it's called I in physics. It's really amps uh, in terms of its units, which is coulomb per second. Um, be able to figure out what quote plates out first. That's a reduction reaction. Which one becomes solid first? Which one's most spontaneous? Figure out what oxidizes first. That's the reverse of plating out. Oxidize. I could also have said what corrodes first. What corrodes first? Uh, that would be the same as what oxidizes first. Uh, and then know this trifecta here to be able to calculate between all three. So for example, if you're given E or E standard, be able to go to K or Q and vice versa, or be able to go to delta G or delta G standard, or be able to go from delta G standard, delta G to K and Q. I'll give you all those uh, equations, but uh, you really have to know how to use them. So. Be really comfortable uh, going between uh, in this little triangle here. And the uniqueness of it is that we can go from electrochem to equilibrium to thermodynamics. So we're mixing three fields of chemistry.